Hi, this is Eleanor with your Virtual Girl Friday, and I just purchased a plug-in from Jason Fladlian and Wilson Matos called WP Member Champ, and we are going to test it out together on one of my dummy sites. So we are going to go and upload a plugin from the install. We're going to go find the file. WP Member Champ, open it, install it now. I'm going to activate the plugin. And we're going to read the warning here. We need to put in our registration code. Okay, so we're going to put in our registration code. We're going to name our product, and then we're going to call this WordPress Tips Membership. We're going to put my PayPal email in here. We can choose whether it's going to be a one-time membership, a recurring subscription, or even a free membership. So let's just say it's going to be a recurring and then it pulled in my payment button image that I already had saved. This is actually pretty interesting. Before I started this video, I uploaded a image of a button and it just automatically pulled that in there. That's pretty cool. I didn't put it in there. Um, US dollar, <laughs> another reason why I crush on Jason and Wilson. Um, we're going to say 495 and the payment period, we're going to select once a month. And we're going to enter zero for unlimited. And if we want, we can offer a trial subscription, um, say seven days. Order sign up page is going to be on the home page. And the default, we could always choose to put that on a different page if we wanted to. We're going to go ahead and leave that for home. We are going to protect all pages so that it will remind us if we have content that we want to protect to make sure that we protect it in case we forget. We are going to add in our autoresponder and this is going to automatically, our autoresponder email address with Aweber and this is automatically going to put people on our list when they opt in and then they can also be set up to unsubscribe from the autoresponder, autoresponder on refund or cancellation. I can click yes and I'm too lazy to go find that email address. So for right now I'm going to click no. <laughs> okay, so click update and now our settings are saved. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here into my widgets. I'm going to scroll down over here, find the WP Member Champ Smart Login. Yeah, I am going to click Add instead of trying to drag it. <laughs> and I'm going to put it in the sidebar. And I'm going to select the position because, of course, I'm using Genesis by Studio Press. I'm going to save that. Now we're going to come back to your blog girl, hit the refresh, and ta-da! It's showing me as the admin, but you would show, let's see if I sign out here. And we go back to, stop giving me grief here. Ooh, did you hear the wind? <laughs> There we go. It's really windy here tonight. Um, there is the login information for your member. You now have a membership site. Okay, let's go back in here and check out some of my posts. Let's protect some of my sample posts. And let's just log back in. And yes, that's a complete no-no using the an admin as a username. Again, this is my dummy site. No justification. It's wrong. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so... We are going to go to posts and we are going to click on my virtual event specialist certification assignment. 
going to edit it. We are going to come down here and we are going to password protect it. We're going to update it. And then we are going to go and view this post. <laughs> yeah, what did we do here? All right, let's go back and see what I did wrong. Okay, so I figured out what I did wrong. Let's go into another browser because I am logged into the site. Hello. <laughs> there you go. So, don't do what I just did. Don't go and check your post in the same browser that you're actually logged in because then, hello, <laughs> it won't show up as protected because you're logged in. Anywho, here is the example of what it looks like as protected. <laughs> okay, so now let's go back here. Okay, now in this same post, I want to show you how you can add a login or also a PayPal button for them to purchase. So let's just go ahead and click PayPal. So now let's preview the post again. Here they can purchase to become. And check out with PayPal, click on that. And it takes them automatically to my PayPal checkout page. This is just a real quick overview of what you can do with this plugin. There are also um, the default member page um, and things like that set up, but Jason goes over that in great detail. But it is very simple to set up a membership site, as you've seen here in this brief tutorial. So I hope you go get your WP Member Champ plugin and enjoy using it unlimitedly on your personal domains. Thanks.